I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. All eyes are on EUR Web. I'm Herrika Thompson. We are on the scene at the film's premiere. It's just me against the world. All these things that we're facing as a community, Pop would be addressing. It, it, it wouldn't even be uh, two ways about it. The kind of man that he was, the social issues and the things that political things that we are facing, he would address both in his music and and off 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 of his music. You know what I'm saying? In the community itself. I'm I'm the nine year old right now. Like I might look like a 27. I'm a nine year old being like ooh and that and ooh and babyface and Jada and Pop and Prince. Like I'm still that girl. You know what I'm saying? Tonight is a really special night, and this is a story that everyone should should hear and know and be very familiar with and leave with the idea of what is your legacy. This man is epic. This man is decades later, just as relevant, we're still talking about him. So what is your legacy? I'm happy to be here tonight at the premiere of All Eyes on Me because my dear friend Kat Graham is in the movie. I cried watching her in the trailer. So I'm gonna be sobbing through the movie. Well, first of all, I'm in this movie. I play Tupac Shadow. Look for me in every scene. I'm in every night nice scene. Every scene after 8 p.m. I'm in it. I'm following him. I'm, I got a big check from this movie. I'm so excited. It's 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 a long time coming. You know, to be able to celebrate him like we are tonight. It's just it's beautiful. Church in the film, and how did you prepare for your role? Oh man, you know, you know, Naughty by Nature is a big group for the '90s, so I was a big fan of Church. You know what I mean? Uh, hip hop, right? You down with OPP? You know all those songs. You know what I mean? So for me, you down with OPP? Oh, you know, if I'm down with OPP, you know me. You know what I mean? You know other people's property. Listen, from the East Coast, let me not get to it. <laughs> we talking about history here, so I just hope we um, make the people happy, the fans happy, all the people that believed in Pop. You know, he was like one of the last real. Malcolms and Martins that we had of our generation. What's one of your favorite Tupac songs and why? I know he has so many, but what's something that's, that really rings home to you? Hail Mary. Yep, Hail Mary, me and my girlfriend. Oh, okay, so you got down like that, Daphne? Yeah, like that. And I still keep like a little Tupac lyric in case you gotta check somebody. Okay, so if you had to check someone now, what's the lyric you would spit? I ain't no killer, but don't push me, <laughs> right? You know, to be a part of Tupac's legacy, any part of it is is amazing. You know, he had a big impact on in black communities. He had an impact in hip hop communities. He had an impact on the world. Like he can go to China and some and people know who Pac is. So it's it's amazing. I never thought I would be standing here directing a movie about Tupac Shakur. It's just crazy. You know, his life is crazy. You know, it's amazing. But I always knew that. You know, I, I'm a hip hop guy. So. For me, this is just part, this is another layer of, of, of what I do. It's just the biggest layer and about the biggest icon that we have, yeah. Hey, hip hop is hip hop. It's gonna keep getting like it is, and uh, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's not a bad thing, you know? Just just always make sure that there is a category, make sure it's a category for the real ones. They can put all that other shit out there where they wanna put it, but make sure it's a category for the real motherfuckers, man. The click, hello. No disrespect to Drake, but he's not even, like has Drake ever made a a political song that made that made the conscious mind awaken? Not even close. So it's no disrespect to Drake and his music, but the way uh, but the way uh, Tupac was uh, such a revolutionary, uh, visionary, and and also um, as articulate as he was, not even close. What is one of your favorite Tupac songs and why? Definitely two of America's Most Wanted. Our ambition as a writer. It was produced by my man, Dad Dillinger, and it's just one of the hardest songs of all time. I am elated the fact that he chose to put me on the album cover. That was an old photo from 1983, 
and I was happy to be writing music at that time. So I'm really, really proud that he chose me to do that. When did you know that Demetrius was your Tupac for this film? Uh, when I met him. <laughs> Honestly. So what is it like to be here on the carpet and have your film finally come out to life? People have been talking and waiting for it. What is it, like? it would feel good if I wasn't out here dealing with the mayhem. You know what I'm saying? So it's absolutely crazy out here right now. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to learn, you know what I mean? And, uh, Thank you, you know, come on, baby. LT Hutton, man. Come on, baby. You, you living it, man. We are yes, all so happy for you and excited, Thank brother. You. Thank you for Thank this opportunity you. for doing this. Yes, this is a black man that did a whole lot of sacrificing, put a whole lot of work yes, in, sir. and did it with integrity. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And not just trying to do it for the money. He wanted to do it right. Ain't no fabrication on this movie at all. The yes, truest sir. form. Thank, Thank you. you.